I want a man that is going to provide for me, that's going to treat me like a princess, that's going to be loyal. You don't have high standards. You just haven't met someone yet who is willing to put in the time and effort to meet your standards. So I know that I am worth more and that I deserve more. And the thing is, is that, like, I am- These women almost become robots at a certain point. They literally just become like robots, cyborgs, like an army of angry ladies that all just say the same kind of narrative. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace and today is another reaction video guys today i'm reacting to a migtail video it's been a little while since i've done one of these so yeah let's see what this one has in store and check it out together fulfilling for me since my mid 30s than it ever was before that so just know that your best years are ahead of you and you are never too old and it's never too late this is more older women lying to younger women probably the loneliest i've ever felt in my life and i'm in therapy and i'm in a codependency group I'm so done. You have so much leverage and so many options, I can't even tell you. When the check came, he asked me for $6. Definitely think that I will stay alone forever. My God. Jesus Christ. Are we not opening doors anymore? Are we not doing that? Never used a dating app in your life? Well, the good news is you're about to have so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. You see, right off the bat, we can see why so many women are nowadays struggling in dating because they've been lied to over and over by other women, telling them that they are perfect goddesses that every man is dying to be with. However, the reality is that's simply not true. And maybe Sunday night, we'll go and have a really fun night, that's something that you wanna do. And instead he canceled on me. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm very hurt. Like. It's just very sad for me and I'm very sad inside. You see, she's finding out in real time that for women, dating is easy when they are young, but it gets much and much harder as they get older, despite all the nonsense being spread on social media about how their 30s and 40s are their best times ever because the women following this advice are having a seriously terrible time at it. I'm officially done with dating right now. I deleted my apps, taking a break. When I find that it's becoming too much or starts hurting my feelings or starts feeling like a job, I delete all my dating apps and take a break. And that's how you keep your sanity. And he said, yeah, I already ate, but if you stopped and picked up some food, I'd eat again. Is the bar that low that you want me to drive to you and buy you food? <laughs> This dude basically ordered free Uber Eats and a side chick to go. But nope, the bar isn't that low. She has simply been confronted with the fact that the balance of power has shifted as women get older and they start finding out the hard way that if you are still dating at that age as a woman, it's going to be way more difficult to keep a guy interested because women always take any form of rejection as somehow a loss for the guy and never seem to reflect inward on how they might actually be lacking. Men who are unable to be honest, men who are unable to communicate. So I just looked at Bumble this morning and he's deleted his account. What is going on in this world? Absolutely his loss. <laughs> yeah, absolutely his loss. Really? What exactly did he lose here? Now this is exactly the type of nonsense I'm talking about that women are constantly bombarding each other with, never telling each other the actual truth, and keep telling each other that they are simply perfect as is and that no change is needed at all. Attract whatever you want and whoever you want just by being you. Activate your inner goddess, your goddess energy. I want a man that is going to provide for me, that's going to treat me like a princess, that's going to be loyal. You don't have high standards. You just haven't met someone yet who is willing to put in the time and effort to meet your standards. So I know that I am worth more and that I deserve more. And the thing is, is that like, I am in- These women almost become robots at a certain point. They literally just become like robots, cyborgs, like an army of angry ladies that all just say the same kind of narrative. It's like they all fall a script like they're all on the same program it's kind of scary incredibly giving and kind and loyal and sweet and funny and i'm emotionally intelligent step into your goddess energy right please drop a like on the video if you think that tiktok is just and comment down below with you having every single guy goddess mentality was working out great 
when they were in their early 20s, having every single guy drop to their knees to please them. However, as they get older and their list of demands gets longer, the guys that meet all of those requirements are not only having many more options to choose from, but they are starting to ask themselves, what do these older women now offer other than a smile and a long list of demands? Today was the first official date with, I'm gonna call him Superman. Well, that didn't age well. <laughs> I think I've been ghosted. Um, date three, I wouldn't sleep with him. I actually asked him if he was emotionally available, to which he replied, no, I don't think I am. And well, it sort of downward spiraled from there. Yep, she thought that she had found Superman. And to be fair, she probably did. I'm sure he was great on paper and checked all the boxes, which is why she decided to go out with him in the first place. However, he selected her as just one of many options, and that's why he bounced when he saw that, hmm, she wanted something serious and he just wanted to have fun. This is something that many other women are finding out as they get older. Because I assumed that we were exclusive, but I asked him if he was talking to anyone else or seeing anyone else, and he said, well, am I going on dates? No, but I'm talking to other women, and I was, like, shocked. Absolutely shocked, and probably really brokenhearted, because I probably could have like things could have gone great. Now this one is actually hilarious because she couldn't possibly fathom the idea that the guy would be talking to other women. Now in reality, guys are usually doing a little bit more than talking, but she really bought into the goddess mentality that she would be the center of his universe and that dating as a woman in your 30s and 40s would be so much fun. So much fun. Yep, so much fun. Now don't get me wrong here, as women get older, they can still easily get many dates, that's not really the problem. What is the problem is that these guys that they actually want to date are going to put in less and less effort and are more likely to only be interested in a casual hookup. Um, in the text, uh, he told me that he was still with his current GF, um, despite the fact that when he'd broken up with me, he told me he never wanted to be in a long-term relationship again. And then he shared that she has been with women before and has a threesome fantasy and naturally he thought of me and he wanted to know if I was single and possibly interested. See, this guy had no problem sleeping with her but he straight up told her I don't want a girlfriend. After which he goes off and finds an actual girlfriend who I'm assuming is younger than she is and the fact that he even texted her about a threesome after he broke up with her clearly shows that he did not take her seriously at all. And this is a sad reality for most women who are dating as they get older or are dating after a divorce. However, the lies and terrible advice don't just stop there because in addition to creating this false fantasy land of dating in your 40s, women are also telling other women to definitely don't do things that men actually appreciate or look for in a woman or you'll become a pick me girl, which is simply breaking them down even more. I am not dating because I just found out thanks to TikTok that I am a pick me girl in recovery. All this time I thought that I was so loving and so giving and such a great partner. And I am if you're looking for somebody who completely denies their own needs and wants and is like a Stepford wife. Yeah, definitely don't be nice and loyal to your boyfriend or husband, right? I mean, that would be an insane request. So this is the vicious circle I'm talking about of broken single women giving terrible advice to others who would then become broken as well and will join them into giving more terrible advice to more women and sell more lies about the joys of dating as they get older. Dating is actually super fun after divorce. Yeah. I texted him saying that I was done. I didn't hear from him. I texted him again saying, hey, are we gonna hang out? And nothing. And it was, I would say painful, but that wasn't the right word. I was living in a sea of pain. Super, super fun. <laughs> I had no more heart to break. Right, so much fun. Remember the Uber Eats girl who got ordered like takeout, being depressed about how low the bar was set? Is the bar that low? Men. Do better. Well, this is what she actually gives out as advice to other women. So number one, I think it's really important to have an older gentleman on your roster. Okay, listen to what she actually says. Have an older man on your roster. This is the same woman who sat in her car crying that guys do not put in enough effort anymore. Jeez, I wonder why. 
have an older gentleman on your roster. R roster. Clearly, that dude was correct in putting in minimal effort since she was trying to date multiple men at the same time anyways. It's this type of delusion and having your cake and eating it too mentality that propels the lies that women sell to each other, after which they are confronted with the reality and run into a big fat wall. But wait, it gets much worse. Remember the dating after divorce super coach who was promising all of that leverage that you will have as a newly divorced single woman? When it comes to dating after divorce, I just want to tell you, you have so much leverage and so much- It makes me really ashamed to be a woman when I see how nasty we are to each other. And it's just so ironic that people will come after Pearl, people will even come after me and act like we hate women. But we actually want to tell women the truth because it's actually kinder to tell you the truth and not feed your delusion. I really don't understand the world that we live in right now. So many options I can't even tell you. Well, let's take a look how that actually plays out in reality. Welcome to another edition of Disaster Dates by the Divorcee. The most gorgeous men I'd ever laid my eyes on came up and talked to me and we had this whirlwind romance that was across the country until the point where he said that he never meant anything that he said to me and everything was a complete lie and he says that to all the girls. So what happened to all of that leverage? Well, I know, it never existed. Now some women see these clips and think, what a mean guy for doing that to her. But these are the same women who complain that men ghost them, and this dude was way more honest than he needed to be. He could have simply just faded away and ghosted her, yep. or said, hey, it's not working out, bye. But no, he simply showed her the reality of dating as an older single woman. Which brings us to that very important and also controversial no-no word, or better yet, concept, which is simply that men prefer younger women, while women prefer older men. This is why women have it so easy when they are young and can literally pick any guy they want. However, if they spend that time playing games thinking that the party will last well into their 30s and 40s, they will eventually get to a point where the balance of power shifts and men of their own age that they want to date are now dating younger women and they will only date all yep, yep, yep. older women for some short-term bedroom fun. And the pattern is, is when he doesn't need me anymore and he has somebody else that he can cling on to that can provide him some sort of like validation through love, then he says terrible things to me to get me to go away. And I'm just really disappointed in myself because I knew better, you know? But I'm also grateful for the experience because now I really know better. She still doesn't know better. You see, this is just another one of those nonsense lies where they are somehow always grateful for getting into a disastrous situation after which they start living their quote unquote best lives. Like I'm so glad I got hit by the car in the face because now I know better. No, what would actually be better is for someone to tell you the truth about dating as you get older as a woman, which is that it will become much, much more difficult than you were used to and that if you don't stay in shape, eat healthy and offer kindness and loyalty as actual valuable traits instead of a long list of demands like some sort of dating terrorist, then no guy is ever going to be interested in you long term and you will only get played like a little girl. Facts. And I know modern feminism has told all you ladies that, you know, oh, this is just men trying to tell us this. It's the patriarchy. Well, unfortunately, that's not it. It's just the truth of reality. And uh, if you want to hear the truth, definitely subscribe to myself. Go check out Pearl. There are women out there willing to tell the truth as pretty and as ugly as that truth may be. The truth is the most important thing. <laughs> Guys, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up on your way out and be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content. And of course, I will see you in the next one.